Right now, a weather satellite built right here in Colorado is getting ready to be shipped off to Cape Canaveral, Florida, where it will be launched into orbit next year. NOAA's GOES-S weather satellite left Lockheed Martin in Jefferson County this morning for Buckley Air Force Base. It will launch in March and join its sister satellite, the GOES-16. The new GOES-S satellite will help give earlier wet warnings of severe weather for the National Weather Service. Cool. Well, scientists at CU Boulder have developed a couple of instruments that will measure light energy from the sun, and they could be launched into space come Friday. This energy drives atmospheric motions, drives at, uh, oceanic circulations, but it also drives all the chemical processes, biological processes. So everything comes from the sun, and so that's why that measurement is so fundamental. All right, these are the instruments going to space. There's the TIM, or Total Irradiance Monitor, or the SIM, a Spectral Irradiance Monitor. This rolls right off the tongue, right. doesn't it? <laughs> Once they're there at the International Space Station, they'll be uh, operated from CU Boulder's laboratory for atmospheric and space physics. Nice. Yeah. What, that didn't sound smooth? No, it did. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought that's something you, you know, utter every day. I, yeah, Irradiance yeah. Monitor. Yeah.